Hey, hey, I didn't see you there. What's up, camera? Welcome back. Uh, wait. Welcome to <laughs> welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. This is the first time that I've posted anything on this YouTube channel. So, uh, welcome back to the first video on my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be doing another unboxing. This is the first YouTube video ever. We're gonna be doing another unboxing for the first YouTube video ever. I mean, if you read the title, we're gonna be doing a manga haul. That's pretty freaking epic. And, um, hold on. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna decorate my table a little bit first. It's kind of fucking ugly. Perfect. Alright. Let's 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 start with the the first package of February. I'm actually gonna be doing this in chronological order from when I actually bought them. We're gonna be starting with this. <laughs> Where were we? That's right. We're gonna start with this first box, which actually includes, I believe, the first two packages I got in, in February, and I actually put it back in the box it came in because then I could actually do an unboxing, and that's cool. <laughs> So let's just, uh, I know I had a knife somewhere in my room, but I honestly don't, I don't remember where I put it, so we're gonna use this, this metal ruler that I have in my room to open the package that I retaped just for this video. Alright. Like a kid on Christmas. Let's see what, what the, the first, the first mangas we got. And, uh, just to, just to clarify, uh, like I said, it was chronological, so there's one instance of when I have another book from a series I ordered a different time in February, because I, I ordered them at different times, and that's, that's why they're not being presented together. So the first, the first four mangas we got here is Ber Berserk. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Berserk is fucking great, dude. This is actually one of the first mangas I ever started reading. Not, not these ones. After I watched the uh, the 1997 anime, and then I was in New York for a while, and that's when I found out they were doing the deluxe things. The first deluxe edition first came out, and I first got the deluxe edition. But they're, they're big and beautiful, and they look great on a shelf. But like, they're just really bulky and heavy, and I find it really impractical to actually read them. So that's why I've opted to start collecting these the single volumes. <laughs> Which, as of right now, I'm on volume 11, which you'll see in a little bit. So, the next two volumes from the very first package of February are One Punch Man, volume 15 and 16. Unfortunately, I did not realize that the second season of One Punch Man covered some stuff in volume 17. I got to the end of volume 16, which I assumed was all that was covered in season 2, but I was wrong. So, that's cool. I've been reading One Punch Man for a little while, obviously since season 2 is a bit of a disappointment. I honestly don't think season 2 is that bad. I mean, it's fine. I think we got a trade-off. We traded in the real amazing animation for better characters and better story, but that's just me. But I picked up the manga because uh, Yusuke Murata is actually an amazing artist, so that's why I started collecting it. And I actually, another one of the reasons why I started collecting it was because of the exclusive Barnes & Noble one for Volume 1. I, I got this, that's why I decided to really start collecting it, is because I was like looking at One Punch manga and then I saw that Barnes & Noble had this neat little exclusive one. And I personally like this cover better than the, uh, the regular Volume 1 cover, though it is a little bit weird that the the spine is black so it kind of doesn't go <laughs> with the rest of the series but i mean i, I like it. it's it's fine and that was uh the end of the the first package the first uh, part of the february manga haul and i think that this one is either either the second biggest or the biggest i'm pretty sure it's the second biggest but it might just be the biggest package i got in february if you count the like the omnibus stuff the multiple volume volumes the three in ones and two in ones and shit if you count those as like the individual volumes instead of just like a single volume mashed into one then it is the second biggest but anyway I'm talking too much about stuff that doesn't matter. The first book from this package, this this big this big package from White Stuff, the, the first books that I got were from Amazon, is Neon Genesis Evangelion. I watched the anime a while ago, I want to say October 2018, around that time that part 5 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was airing, because I, I hadn't been watching very much anime at the time. I was pretty much watching nothing, I was waiting for jo JoJo part 5 to come out, but when JoJo part 5 was coming out, I had this like itch to watch more anime while I was waiting for part 5 every fucking week. And so, uh, I heard somewhere, I think it was, I think it might have been the Giguk video, the, uh, Darling in the Franks in Minutes video, and I was thinking I would watch that, but then I heard people, <laughs> people saying that it's Evangelion but worse? I couldn't tell you. I haven't watched Darling in the Franks yet, but I've watched Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's great. I'm excited for the final rebuild movie. It's probably... <laughs> gonna be like not that good but whatever i mean i enjoy them right so that's all that really matters so this is the first three in one 
of Neon Genesis Evangelion. So far, actually, I think on Mal that the, the manga is rated higher than the anime, which is pretty interesting to think about. Uh, from what I read so far, because I read this whole this whole book, all three of the first volumes, uh, and it's pretty much the same so far, so I'm, I'm curious to see when it diverges from the anime. Alright, next up is... Oh... Vagabond, the first Viz Big Vagabond, three in one. I first decided to get this volume and start collecting Vagabond because uh, I've seen screenshots of the the artwork on Twitter, and also because I've heard people say that if you like Berserk, you'll probably like Vagabond too. And I've only read the first volume in the three in one, but I'm pretty into it so far. It's got some great art. Uh, the action's really nice to look at. So I'm looking forward to reading more of Vagabond. The only thing is, is it's probably going to be like pain in the ass to collect because there's like twelve. Of these three in ones because there's like 37 volumes total i mean that's it's whatever i mean these are still hard to like hold big bulky heavy like fucking berserk deluxe edition but nowhere near as big so i think this is fine compared to like the berserk deluxe editions but uh <laughs> something that confuses me is while i was looking at like the vagabond omnibus shits on right stuff anime is that there's 12 of these which collects almost the entire series except for one volume 37 which you have to buy like the single volume for because it's not in any of the omnibus is as far as I'm aware, so that's gonna be like a really weird thing to have because it's probably gonna be like it's probably gonna be like something like this where it's like shorter, not only like not as thick but shorter too. So that'll be a weird thing on my shelf when I eventually get there, but whatever. Next up is Goodnight Poon Poon. I, I'm honestly not sure about this one yet. I was uh, listening to a podcast. It's called the Please Stop Talking Podcast, and there's someone, uh, H Bomber Guy, who was talking about how it's one of his most favorite mangas of all time. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't peg him as somebody who read manga. I don't know if he does. He just mentioned Goodnight Poon Poon is really good. And I saw that it was really highly rated. So, and then the, like the, the plot synopsis that I saw was also really interesting. So that's why I'm planning on getting on into it. Maybe. But that's pretty much all I had to say for now, because I haven't actually read this volume yet. Next up, Solanin, which I've also heard is highly recommended. It's a one-volume series. Like, this is this is the only book to collect. I think there's, like, a short epilogue that you can buy that's separate, but uh, I still have to read this one. Which I didn't actually realize that Goodnight Poon Poon and Solanin were actually written by the same person until I put them next to each other on the shelf, on my bookshelf. I put my bookshelves by height in there same height but when i put them together i realized that oh it's written by the same guy <laughs> that's crazy so yeah it was this one and there's another one volume series in this package and the rest of this the second february package that i got so we'll get to that soon i'm very interested to see what this is about i've heard that it's about like 24 year old recent college graduate who's having a hard time figuring her place in the world not 24 but i definitely have that second part not not graduated from college but all right in the next two volumes Dead Man Wonderland Volume 2. I watched the anime like a while back. I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but when it was on Netflix, I watched it and I loved it a lot. But I was really upset when there was no season two. I was just starting to watch anime, so I didn't realize how cruel the anime industry is. And there's like never a season two for anything ever. So that's really unfortunate. And I've just been slowly getting these volumes. I haven't read one or two yet, but I have one and two ready and I'll like, I'll get into it later. Uh, it's already completed with 13 volumes. So if anything, I might just like wait to collect all 13 before I read through all of them. After that, we of course have Berserk Volume 11. I'm not gonna talk about this any more than I already have because I, I had Berserk in the other pile. So we'll just put that down. Next up, another Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's uh, Volume 2 of the Omnibus Shinji Card Raising Project. And the reason I decided to start collecting this series, I only have the first two Omnibus. I've read the first one. The reason I decided to start picking it up is because it interested me a little bit. And I wanted to start collecting this series because one, it interested me, but what really pushed me to start collecting them was the first one, at least on Right Stuff Anime, was out of, like, it was out, but it's never coming back. So I quickly went to eBay. I found a copy of the first one, and I read it. I pretty, I pretty, I enjoyed it. And uh, and then I get the second one, which isn't out of stock forever on Rise of Stuff Anime. But uh, an interesting fact, I think that hold on, yeah. So this is the this is the first volume of the Omnibus. This is the second one. This one I got secondhand on eBay, and this one I got from like the warehouses wherever Rise Stuff is, in, like Iowa or something. And it, it like it looks like 
<laughs> like the volume 2 has slightly more page yellowing than volume 1, which is not something I expected. I don't know if that's weird or not, but... Alright, and then the final book in this box is The God's Lie by Kaori Ozaki. Another one volume series. I have read this one. I haven't read so long yet, but I've read this one. I've heard it's really good. It is really good. I read it. I liked it a lot. Not much to say other than people have been recommending it as like, if you're just starting to collect manga, this is a good one to collect because it's, it's good and it's only one volume, and I have to agree. All right, and now we're gonna switch gears from the, the first, like, the first, like, uh, six books that I showed off, the Berserk and One Punch Man, those are from Amazon. And then the books that I showed off just now, from uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion to The Gods of Lie, those were from Right Stuff Anime. Now, we're moving over to the, like, the bargain stuff. This is stuff I got on eBay for cheap prices. So, we're gonna be showing off that, just so if you're collecting manga or something, you could actually get some great deals on stuff. Again, great stuff for the microphone. <laughs> oh god, I can see the peaking from here. All right, so here we have this is this is like the first uh, the first package that I got from eBay. It was pretty cheap. It's 14 volumes total and it only cost me about $46, which I'm not good at mental math, but I'm pretty sure that's like 3 or something dollars per volume, which is a great deal by the way. And it's also like an out of print series, but I think it's also just because it has a reprint by Kodansha, and that is Love Hina from the, the Tokyo Pop one. I have a lot in my bookshelf of like action heavy series, and sometimes they're not always completely serious. Like, I have action stuff, like One Punch Man is action, but it's not completely serious. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4, I have the first volume of that. But uh, the thing is, is I just have a lot of action stuff, and a lot of like serious, like a lot of drama stuff, and I didn't have a lot of just like pure, like comedy stuff. So, I was like, I need some comedy. I need to get some, like, comedy stuff. You know, like, the Rosario Vampire manga, which I have all of. The anime is so misleading because it's nothing like the manga. The manga is so fucking good. What the hell happened? But, uh, I actually saw a manga unboxing video by Andrew something, I think, where he unboxed it, and I can't say if this is true or not. I didn't read manga back in the day, but apparently Love Hina was like the manga that everybody had to read to be considered an, a manga fan. When I was a kid in high school, middle school, if you didn't, if you hadn't read Love Hina, you were like ostracized, like you weren't a part of the manga group. Again, I don't know how true that is, but I mean, I've read the first two volumes. It's very entertaining so far, I like it. So we'll see how the rest of it goes. And again, cheap manga. It's very nice. It is a bit damaged, but that just comes with the fact that it's used. So, whatever. Alright, before we get to the next eBay bargain boxes, I actually wanted to bring up something that I got at Barnes & Noble. I don't actually recommend going to Barnes & Noble a lot, unless, like, unless you're just there to browse. I wouldn't recommend buying manga from Barnes & Noble. For example, like a volume of One Punch Man, uh, if it wasn't on sale. If, they, if Barnes & Noble wasn't having a sale, a volume of One Punch Man would cost about $10 without tax. Uh, but on like Right Stuff Anime, or like Amazon for example, it wouldn't be the full retail price. Which is, I guess it's like, you're supporting your local businesses and whatever. But uh, I mean, I mean I'm trying to save money here. But while I was at Barnes & Noble recently, I decided to pick up the 10th volume of Land of the Lustrous. Land of the Lustrous is uh, one of my favorite series so far. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't read the 10th volume yet. I don't know if I want to wait until August for volume 11 to be released. It really sucks because I really love Land of the Lustrous, but I, I pretty much only read physical manga. I really don't like, I don't buy ebooks. I don't read scanlations. Unlike anime, which I, I do pirate on illegal streaming sites, like normal people do. Uh, for manga, it just feels so much better to have like the physical book in your hand while you're actually reading it. I know that's not just me because there's so many people on the internet that make manga haul videos and manga collection videos. So, I don't know. Maybe what I might do is read ahead after I finish reading this, and I'll still buy the 11th volume when it comes out. Land of Lustrous, one of my favorite series, highly recommend it. It's only 10 volumes, it's honestly not that big, that big of a commitment compared to other things. Alright, we got two boxes left. You excited? I am. Let's get, let's just get to the next one. This one was also a bargain. It was like 20 bucks for the two volumes, but it's like omnibuses, so it's like two on ones. Or like, no, it's two and a half ones. It, it's a good deal, either, either way. But uh, yeah, let's just let's just start opening it up. It is girlfriends. It's both both volumes 
of a manga called Girlfriends, which up until the day I ordered them on eBay, I did not know existed. I was just browsing eBay. Uh, I bought I bought something else. It'll be the last thing that we see. And while I was browsing like the same eBay seller's page, I also saw these, which is like they were twenty bucks. I checked on Right Stuff, and the first volume was out of print. So I was like, sure, I'll get them because I also read like the plot synopsis on uh, my anime list, and I also I looked at some reviews. It's pretty pretty highly rated. This isn't my typical thing that I read, like romance, Yuri romance stuff. But hey, maybe I'll get really into it. I don't know, but it's short, and I got it for a good deal. So I'm definitely gonna be reading it at some point. <sighs> All right, camera, are you ready? It's the last box. <laughs> Let's check it out. The very last box, also a very good deal. Got it for like 30 bucks on eBay. Let's open it up. High Rise Invasion. I don't know how many of you actually know what this is, but I got the first three omnibuses for High Rise Invasion, the manga. Uh, I decided to get them because I read the premise and I was interested and when I was on eBay I could get the first three omnibuses the first three two-in-ones for $30. That's that's pretty much it I if I'm being like too loose with my money. I, I apologize I'm just flexing so hard right now and I, I kind of feel bad But something that I didn't realize but I actually didn't realize that high-rise invasion is written it's either written or illustrated by the same person that either wrote or illustrated Ajin which uh, I actually read a little bit a while ago in like high school. It was around when Ajin and um, Inu Yashiki were coming out as animes, and my friend was telling me about them, and he said, just read the manga instead because the CG was bad. And I can't say anything about the CG because I haven't actually watched the shows yet, but I read a little bit of both the manga back in the day before I started collecting physical volumes, and I, I, I liked both. Actually, hold on, actually. I did actually buy the first volume of Ajin, a while ago and uh, I enjoyed it a lot so I'll probably be buying it <laughs> again but I, I have to buy a replacement for volume one because I kind of fucked up the back I don't know if you can see that uh, maybe I'll get closer to the camera real quick there we go and there you have it I fucked up the back of auction really badly so what happened was I was uh, reading it while I was on my way to a family thing and like the uh, the cover like the shiny cover thing was starting to come off in the corner and I started peeling it a little bit, and there was no damage to it. So I decided to wait until I got home to peel off the rest of it. But when I got to here, it started fucking things up and there was no going back. But yeah, that's uh, these are the last of the manga that I got recently in February. But technically, these three and uh, the Girlfriends manga can't be counted as like a February manga haul. I bought them on the 27th, I think. Both of them, like both of these, uh, and they came in on March 3rd, but this video isn't even gonna come out in the first week of March, so why not, why not include these, right? All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, don't know when the next time I'll ever make another video again is. <laughs> Probably not gonna make a, a March manga haul video because this is a shitload of stuff I bought just in February, so I'm gonna be giving it at least a month break. Maybe I'll do one in April because that's when my birthday is and hopefully people give me a lot of money for my birthday So I can spend it all on fucking manga <sighs> uh, But until then uh, Subscribe hit the like button if you enjoyed the video wait hit the like button if you enjoyed the video Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see some more in the future. Maybe possibly I don't know yet Twitter I have a Twitter. I don't really tweet anything. I just retweet shit uh, <laughs> Some hentai sometimes you know how it is. That's pretty much it Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.